I always have a good hair day until I press record and then everything just goes into bleh. Got your coffee? Cause I do. Say hi little poopy, her name is Chupy. But anyways, I have an exciting video for you all. My go-to, try or, what is the phrase? Try or die. My, uh, in my spirit animal in the yarn dyeing world. I have two of these colorways. I just caked them up. They were originally balls because I was using them in a previous project, but then I frogged it and I thought, okay, well, whatever. If I get re-motivated, I'll just bring them back and then I will use them. And I just decided to just cake up everything that was in a ball in my stash and I did a few of them and then when I got to these two I realized whoa these actually could go together. This one is called Time Turner but I believe she's renaming it and this one is Paxi which is dedicated to the first female taxi driver I believe and I went ahead along and I did a little swatch and so I already can tell that this is going to be a really really nice project. Look at that. Look at that contrast of color and how the colorway pulls up. I just realized executive decision. I was currently using a F hook, which is 3.75 millimeters. I'm not liking how the colorway is playing out. I know that the colorways pull out differently. I just don't like the texture of being able to see the individual stitches. And I know from experience that this colorway, these colorways are supposed to be pulling um, they're supposed to look different and you're not really getting the full appreciation of the colorways so all right so great news I took a step back I went back into my stash and I actually found a okay I think I found a new direction in which oh my god my hair is horrible things are coming in guys <laughs> uh, so I went back in my stash and I found da -da -da, this I found a chunky yarn to use with this. I'm gonna recreate my coffee reserve shawl with maybe one or two differences in it. But, and the great thing about it is, this is Hometown USA. This is not wooly, thick and quick. And the cool thing about this is this is actually called Chicago Charcoal. So, shout out to my city for helping me get out of this creative rut that I was in. Anyways, let me show you the new vision. Well, bam, 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 thank you, ma'am. These four colorways is the new vision. And I started working on the shawl real quick. Let me just explain. I believe I did. I think I did this way too big. <laughs> Looking this white with this particular shade of charcoal gray. Yeah, I'm going to stick with what I said in the video, which was 86 as opposed to 96. And the difference of 10 stitches, that's the beauty and the frustration with crochet sometimes. Just little, little small changes like that really do make a difference. I am not going to use this colorway. I think I'm just gonna make another whole garment out of this because as soon as I was seeing the pooling effect occur and then when I added, this was just a color theory experiment to add the fisherman wool as the border. Um, it's really bringing the whole colorway together and I don't wanna, add too much to it because it is easier to go a little bit overboard when it comes to color weights. And so I like the way this is, I like this whole palette, the gray, the white, and this pink and blue. Instead of wasting two colorways also, just, you know, I get to make two now. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? So the, anything 2020 has given all of us is that some of our favorite artists have actually done virtual concerts. My mom just bought a virtual concert for two days. There she goes, the dog's on the loose. Okay, she got him. I'm the type of person that gets sick as soon as they go outside without proper insulation. Oh, I'm having a good hair day, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, good hair day. I sized down in both my hooks. I was originally using an eye hook for the fisherman wool and then I was originally using a F hook, I believe, for the hand dyed yarn. So I sized down, just pretty much recreating my coffee reserve shawl. I might add a couple different stitches here and there towards the end because like I said, remember all of my garments, I like them to be functional first which means anything that's gonna cover my back has to be in closed stitches. 
So that way there's no air coming in and they can actually work and keep you warm. But then once you start getting to the uh, bottom parts of the garment, that's where you can start using more open concept stitches like these stitches and stuff like that window pane. So I think at this point, I'm just gonna follow what I did down here, which was two rows of fisherman wool. And then I need to make an executive decision if I'm gonna use any more of the chunky yarn because uh, based off of like the yardage and stuff like that, I know that I might have less, there's less yardage, I believe, in the hometown USA chunky as opposed to the woolies thick and quick by only by like 10 yards but it apparently makes a difference <laughs> i just do like one or two rows of the chunky i mean it works up really really quick I'm debating whether or not i want to actually do that because uh i want more of the white and the hand dyed yarn to do more of the talking than the chunky real quick this is the first section done guys i am finishing up coming back on the second row and now I'm going to, so if I remember correctly, the DK, if I remember correctly, the other yarn that I used in the previous shawl was DK weight. And since this is sock weight, it's technically one yarn weight smaller than the other. So I did, initially in the DK shawl, it was four rows of a DK weight. So I did eight because to account for the sizing down of the hook and also the yarn weight. And so now I'm just gonna double or maybe even triple what I just did here to that way I'm not using so much of the chunky yarn. So since this was eight, I'll probably do 16 of the hand dyed yarn and then I'll probably do four or six rows of the fisherman wool just so I can use more of these two colorways and the chunky yarn because remember you still have to add the border all the way around at the very, very end once you finish. It's even like lovely as a scarf, guys. You could technically stop here if you really, really wanted to, and it could be this beautiful, beautiful scarf. So that's up to you if you want to do that, or you can just continue on and try and make the shawl. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. How do I look, guys? Does it look cool? Hmm. Cover the mouth like that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I did do a few rows of this second section and I noticed that my project, you can kind of see it here, it's kind of curling in. And what that usually means is there's not enough stitches going on, which is totally fine. There's an easy way to fix it. Um, since I normally do two, one, two, one, two, one without actually counting or having a mental count of everything, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm jump cutting into the future and whatever my past self said, ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And I do because I'm in the future and I'm telling you, <laughs> whenever you're transitioning from hand dyed yarn, which is a size two from a size four, what you're actually going to do is, let me just make sure I'm giving you the right info. You're gonna do two half double crochets for three stitches, and then you do one half double crochet on the four. So it's three, two half double crochets in three stitches, and then one on the fourth, okay? That's what you do. And then when it comes to the, uh, going from a size six to a size four, you can do the same thing, which is to, um, you do what I originally told you, which was two, one, two, one, two, one. Uh, but just make sure when you're using the hand dyed yarn, because I already made that mistake, you do three and then one, three and then one, okay? And then when you're going back into, from size two to a size four, you're actually going to do three half double crochets you're gonna do one half double crochet in three stitches and then skip the fourth one, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. But that's how you can keep your line, your wall, nice and straight. So see how that looks like that. And then see how that looks like that. Ooh. Oh my God. The puppy is... Is he okay? <laughs> the puppy is taking a shower and he might have fallen. <laughs>
where I'm going to be doing now, since I did my two sections already of half double crochet, I was going to keep it that way just because of the nature of the hand dyed yarn, but for all intents and purposes, here I'm going to start what I did in my coffee reserve shawl, which was two half double crochets, chain one, then two half double crochets, chain one, until I'm pretty much done with this yarn. Once again, it is midnight and I am finishing up this project. This is what's left of that hank of yarn. We might have some yarn chicken. I don't know if I have enough to do one more row, but I got 12 rows of, so if you followed my coffee reserve shawl, this is two half double crochet, chain one, two half double crochet, chain one, because uh, everything else is half double crochet, and then on the third section, you just use up what's left of your hand dyed yarn. Let's see how much I have. I just wanted to bring you in to let you know that I just did that section and I'm almost going to be done with the hand dyed yarn. Once I bring you back, I'll be finishing the, oh my god, what is that under my eye? I'll be finishing the Fisherman wool and then adding the uh, chunky yarn at the end. Yeah, so that's the plan. Hopefully before 1 a.m. <laughs> Down to the wire, I can see the end of the yarn right there. There it is. And I've got this much left. Uh-oh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough. Oh no, I should have done single crochet instead of half double crochet. Womp womp, I didn't have enough. So I'm gonna be taking off this row and doing single crochet. Ha, I did it, so of you. I mean, I'm trying to use as much yarn as possible. I don't want any scraps. But check it out, using single crochet, I made it to the end. Oh my god, god I have a paper cut. It's hurting, it's hurting because I'm rubbing wool against it. There we go, I made it to the edge, guys. Woo, woo, I made it to the edge, I made it to the edge, I made it to the edge. That's done. That part, look at that, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This colorway is so nice. Now, time to do the fisherman wool. Quick note, as I am adding the fisherman wool, I am skipping a stitch. Just because I do, or what did I do before? Hold on. I think I did one, two, three. Oop, my bad. So you're gonna do one, two, three, so three half double crochets and then skip one. As long as you're not doubling, the amount of stitches, honestly, just eyeball it like I am. See, like that looks flat. That looks good to me. This is 86 and this is how much is left to get to the corner. So I obviously added way too many on this. Um, just because I felt bad as I was literally recording and saying how I wasn't counting, I actually felt really, really bad. So I think what I'm going to do is just literally skip every other stitch because this is a lot that I added way too much on. So more than anything, I'll probably just skip every other stitch when it comes to the fisherman wool. Which means back to frogging. Frog it. You got a frog. Frog, frog, frog. I think I frogged at least six times already on this garment. I'm the type of person where if I see the issue right away, I'm willing to backtrack for the sake of this looking nice. It works. Look, see, now it's not overstretching. I can actually open it and it's nice and flat. So now I know, skip every other stitch when it comes to going from a hand dyed yarn to fisherman wool, which I'm pretty sure I've done, but I, since I don't write anything down and I edit these videos as kind of like visual notes for myself, now I'll know. <laughs> Back. All right, it is 1.23 in the morning. Whew, I've got about one, two, three, four, five. Remember, this is half double crochet and then five rows of the two half double crochet, chain one, same thing that I did down here. Oh my god, you guys, I come home from work and look at what they bought. They have a whole pack of Cinnabons, oh my goodness. A whole tub, the cutie little snowman. And one, two, three, four cups of icing. Oh yeah, extra frosting and it's still not enough. I need more. I should put more. Whew, a long day at work today, but very productive. I already just rinsed my face out. I'm trying to move my hairline to more on the side. Ooh, oh my god. 
black coffee burp is not the best. All right, so just from eyeballing it after measuring, measuring it on the floor, I think I'm gonna stop here. This is technically 12 rows of the fisherman wool. So I found out what my, where my mistake was. I actually technically made this a little bit too long, um, just a teensy weensy bit, maybe like five stitches off in terms of the foundation row. So yeah, I think that's initially the problem. But that being said, I'm gonna stop here at 12 rows. I'm actually going to cut it. And then now I am going to close that end up. Cool, we're done with the fisherman wool. And my chunky yarn is over here. So I'm gonna be doing my technique of single crochet, bringing it all the way up to the edge. And then technically I would finish that. That's already one side with a border. So that means I just have to go on the other side to do it. And since I have two rows here of chunky, I might just do like a whole row going that way and then come back and do a second row all the way around. All right, so last time I am course correcting what I'm doing. I completed my single crochet here of the border. I'm actually going to do half double crochet on this end to give it a nice fluffy, because this is the bottom part, so I want it to be uh, nice and thick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do single crochet again on the other end, so that way it matches this side. So see the difference in the thickness of it? And yeah, so originally I skipped this open stitch where I chained one, but I'm now I'm adding a half double crochet in each one. So in the empty one where I chained and then also in between the two half double crochets of the fisherman wool. Oh, my knees, my knees fell asleep. Oh my God, I am officially getting old. Oh my. All right, so just looking at this right off the bat, um, I'm trying to decide if that actually looks good or not. Like, does it look like a cool grungy clothes? Or I don't think so. Like, it kind of looks like coffee bean stitch. And this neckline is kind of a little bit too big for me. So, executive decision. I think what I'm going to do is... Yeah, I think I'm going to line it. So I'm going to frog my seam. I'm going to line it in the fisherman wool. So half double crochet or single crochet. Um, and then I'm going to close it because I'm not really, mm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to try and squeeze a single crochet into every stitch. So not only in between, I mean two, two single crochets in each stitch. That will allow me the freedom to stretch out one side to maximize length and get the uh, neckline that I really, really want. Okay, so you closed it, all right? You closed it, and now you're gonna create a wall here, a row. All right, after you do your one row, then you're going to actually decide, this is where you can actually decide, stretch it out a little bit. Okay, so I kind of want that to go there. Yes, that's tight enough. <laughs> Sorry, I had to make sure my head could actually fit in there nice and snug. And then you're just gonna slip stitch on the other side and now you connect it. So here you can actually decide, you can see if it's big enough. Oh my God, what am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. Oh yeah, that's, that's kind of like where I want it. Yeah, that's good. All right, so after you do that slip stitch, you technically connected it, and now you're gonna do a row exactly what you just did before. Make sure that's nice and tight. And you're gonna go ahead and do single crochets on the other side now, and then you seam it up and close it. See what I did there? It's kind of like a little cheat to add rows to your wherever you're closing the seam. And we're almost done. So now that you finished that row of single crochet, remember two single crochet in each uh, what do you call it? Each stitch of your chunky yarn. All right, now hold on, make sure you add it into the border, the last one, the really, really nice big corner one. Cool. So now here, okay, 
Now what you want to do is recombine everything and this is where you can start hiding your yarns. So grab everything and if you did everything right, if I did everything right, we should have a nice clean seam in the, in the finale. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to go to bed and then I'll see you guys in the morning for the final reveal and my final note. Cool, so that's how everything should look. Once you finish doing that seam, look at that beautiful seam. I actually wouldn't mind keeping it on this side. So just so you know, this is what it would look like closing it like that. And that's actually not a bad looking seam. So you could actually wear it this way or the other way. And it's not bending or anything like that. I didn't skip too many stitches or whatnot. So I'm gonna close this off now because I'm pretty sure this is done. so much to each and every one of you for your support special shout out to our limon influencers noemi torres and balanca valtierras thank you so much and let's give a shout out to our limon inner circle members we got ola joe the crocheting sailor araceli pintado cocktails and crochet with coco and karen miller thank you so much and to all of the limon family members i see you and thank you so much you guys can see them here listed on the screen i appreciate each and every one of you you make this process like i said so much fun to hang out with you all here on youtube thank you so much and if you want to join you can go ahead and click that join button to see more information and the extra perks that you get for joining and becoming a member thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one